One brisk morning, the small railway engines were excited. A new book was just written about them, and their controller was showing them the pictures as he read out the stories. But Bert looked rather puzzled when he saw himself. Wait a minute, that's not right. They've drawn me in my old shape. <laughs> I'm sure it wasn't intentional, Bert. They must not have known that you had a rebuild while the book was being drawn out. Well, I think these book people have been very silly. And after all the trouble I went through, too, to receive such a handsome new shape. Especially since it's really mild after me. But even so, Bert still wasn't happy. And he was right to gripe about it, too, recalling the last few months that had happened on the Arlesdale Miniature Railway. Bert had always been known to be a shy steamer, with a delicate fire that had to be handled carefully. But every day, he'd rolled home severely out of puff and could barely get back to the sheds for a rest. Whenever he told the engines, they just laughed. Jock and Mike both thought he was just silly. It's all in your smoke box, Bert. You probably don't have the same stamina as I do. Or me. You're probably just a big hippopotamus. No, er, uh, hippocondriac. I think you mean uh, hypochondriac, Mike. In my theory, you're both acting silly. Don't you just leave him alone? Rex, I, I try so hard. It's all right, Bert. They were built only recently and don't understand, but I do. I know what age can do to an engine. They fitted a special compressor inside of me so I can run smoothly. I'm very surprised they've overlooked you all this time. Perhaps I can try and talk to the small controller if you want, and see what he can do for you. Thanks, Rex, but... I do hope he can fix me up again. Days passed, and Bert still didn't hear back from the small controller. Although he tried not to worry, his condition went from bad to worse, and was often found struggling with his trains constantly. Then one day, it all came to a head. Bert woke up feeling dreadful, and to make matters worse, he had a full train to take up the line. I really don't have the strength to go out today, but I've got to try at least. No point sitting in the shed feeling sorry for myself. Besides, passengers always come first. Try as he might, Bert found himself a straining again, which quickly drew the driver's attention. He brought the train to a stop at the next station. came to see what the matter was while several passengers came closer to get a glimpse, armed with cameras. Poor Bert felt very crowded. Oi! Shoo! Back to the train, you lot! Hmm... Well... What is it? Can anything be done? Not from my point of view, I'm afraid, boy. 
You've got a bad leak somewhere, but I can't find it anywhere. You don't have enough steam to finish the journey. I'll radio control and send for help. In no time, Frank arrived to perform the rescue. He pushed the stranded train to the loop, ran round and pulled it to the top station. Then he helped Bert home while Mike came to take the passengers back. Bert was shunted into the shed with nothing to do for the rest of the day. He felt very lonely and cold, and began fearing the worst. Oh dear, those passengers did look cross. What will the small controller do when he finds out? Oh well, looks like it's the end of the line for me. But Bert was quite wrong. Next morning, the small controller came to see him. Cheer up, Bert. I know you did your best yesterday, in spite of your minor incident, and I am proud of you. But don't think I've forgotten Rex's constant nagging, um, reminders about your condition. This is why I've been making plans over the past fortnight. Nothing to do with scrapping, I hope, sir. Certainly not, Rex. It's about time Bert here had an overhaul. However, Bert, this isn't any ordinary overhaul. You'll be rebuilt with the new superheat plans that Jock was based off of. You will have a larger boiler, a taller funnel, and a pump to ensure you have plenty of steam. Doesn't that sound splendid? His speech was drowned by a loud chorus of whistles, after which Bert's smile could not be any larger. For several months, Bert was put into the workshop, shut away from the open world. Mike, Jock and Rex could hear whirring and buzzing coming from inside, and longed to see how Bert was coming on. Then, one day... Hey look, the workshop doors are open! Yoo-hoo! Bird! It's us! How you feeling? Goodness, it's empty! Not a soul in sight! Oh my! Crumps, that's odd! Where's Bert gone? Good morning, you three. I'm surprised you're not ready for work yet. Ah me, what an eventful few months I had then. Indeed. At least you got your happy ending at last. And the best part is you don't have to be towed home anymore. <laughs> Still, I do hope the next book about us has proper illustrations to my current appearance now. Otherwise, people might get confused. Oh my, you've got a new engine? I say, he's an interesting looking fellow. How long have you been here? Ah uh, yes, I see what you mean Bert. <laughs> 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 <laughs>